For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip up the Mad Cheese. As always, got another defense for you guys today out of my Dolphins slash Giants ebook. This is a defense that I've noticed a ton of pro players are using right now. It's going around as probably one of the meta defenses when it comes to pro players. And I'm going to show you guys how to use it today. I'm going to show you guys how to set up an, a you know really good run defense, a really good pass defense, and get pressure in multiple ways all in one single play. Woo! As always, if you guys want to see more defensive plays like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. The formation itself is the big nickel over G. Now, there's really two different plays you can do this with. The cover three sky and the cover three buzz match. They're essentially very similar. There's a slight difference as far as um, what you're, you know, where you're getting your, your curl flats from. And I feel like the matching concept might be a little bit better coverage, but I really leave that up to you guys because to me, um, you can do this exact same setup with both. But the one I see people using the most is probably cover three sky. The MVPs of this play are gonna be the guys in the purple zone. So make sure you have your best players there. Make sure you sub your fastest safeties and cornerbacks at those spots if you can do that. You can say I got Byron Jones here at the strong safety spot and Eric Rowe uh, as the box safety. That's gonna be perfect. So we're gonna pick that. Then we'll pick uh, cover three sky on the defensive side. On the offensive side, we're just gonna go random uh, gun bunch. Now as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys wanna get your mutt team up and support the channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and your discount code money to get 3% off what's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. Now to start off, this defense here, it's a super easy setup. Number one, you got your middle high safety here. I don't like defenses where uh, the safety is off to the side um, and you basically have something that looks like this and then a lot of times it can get you in trouble. I like the fact you have a single high safety, especially with these bunch looks. Uh, I find that, that really helps have that safety in the middle of the field. But as far as the base setup goes, all you really have to do is hit, I'm going to go ahead and get off this guy, but all you have to do is hit the, uh, the, the R1 button or the right bumper and then down the left stick to pinch the defense. Now this guy here I already moved him so he's not going to move down by himself. But ultimately this is going to be your look. You can see as far as run defense goes or pass defense goes, number one, everybody's in the box. You got nine man in the box. You have your, your second level backers. A lot of times if you have a six man front like we have here, you don't have linebackers behind it. We have linebackers right behind it to fill those lanes. And then you can see like I said, the six man front is really where it's at. These six defenders here, they're going to, no matter what, run, no matter what formation you're looking at on offense, they're going to have the outside leverage. They're going to have the widest point. So you can see right here, there's no real outside run opportunities based on the fact that these guys are going to be wider than the widest blockers, which is basically going to give you outside run fits every single time. And then the pinch also basically takes away any run uh, lanes inside. So any inside zones are going to get shut down by these four defenders. And if there's any outside runs, uh, they're basically going to get taken care of by these outside guys. So it's a really good setup when it comes to that. Uh, you have the option, if you really think it's going to be a run play too, you could also go uh, hard flats. Set your hard flats to five or zero. Uh, and set your um, your curl flats, uh, which I'm going to have to switch back for the curl flats. But set your curl flats typically to me about 25, 30 for people that ask. But this is pretty much going to be the setup. And then, like I said, if I expect a low a low throw uh, or an outside run, I get hard flat. That's pretty much going to be your cover setup as well. Now you have other options here uh, when it comes to blitzing. But let's go and let's run this real quick. Hopefully, we will get a run play. Nope. As you can see, we get uh, some pressure. We didn't really have to do anything there, uh, but pretty much everything was locked up. I did go hard flats on that play, which you can see, I mean, there's not a lot open. I could probably go to the replay real quick just to show you guys that uh, even with the hard flat setup, that everything was pretty much locked up. There's nothing really open here. You can see everything has pretty much coverage. Now there's a really easy blitz setup out of this as well. Um, all you really have to do is you can blitz either one of these guys off the side here, or you can blitz both, which is something that a lot of people do. You can send the house uh, and blitz both of these guys 
Um, and you could also, I mean, you don't really need, like I, if I really want to, we got three uh, receivers on the right side here. I could basically make this guy, um, you know, the curl flat and basically operate just like this and just send some extra pressure. I think if it works best if you slant your defensive line out, uh, but ultimately you really have your choice. You can blitz one of these outside guys, or you can blitz both. You just have to start with this guy down here in the box. And you're gonna wanna do this in pretty much every single play is bring this guy down to the box. Now, ultimately you also wanna make sure that you uh, guess pass. That will help in a lot of different ways but this is just a way to send a lot of pressure i don't know what we're going to be seeing here it might be a run play which it is nope uh, as you can see once again there's no run lanes inside that's the first run play that we've had like i said this guy here i want him all the way down at the line i don't want him back like that so if i have to use or do that i can do that and you know there's a couple adjustments you can get here for this pressure to get you know to be to be kicked up a notch I said, I'll just basically stop here. And then you can see that comes right around the running back and we can get some easy sacks uh, as long as you, you know, play patty cake with the center of the guard, which is probably the most important part here. So like I said, that was a play action. Typically with these play actions, a lot of times these faster guys can get around the running back anyway. As you can see right here, they come off the edge on both sides. Although this guy here gets in first, uh, you can see the guy on the other side would have got in if he didn't, if he wasn't humping his teammate's leg. What the hell is going on? I don't know what's going on over here. As you can see, he doesn't have a blocker in front of him. He just takes a bad angle. So that's why, like I said, it's really important pre-snap to move these guys out and really down the line. I think that's why the other guy had more success. You can see he doesn't really start off at the line. He's back about a yard or so, and he doesn't have as good of an angle. Where this guy here has a much better angle. He's much more uh, linear. I don't know if I could get them both in the same frame, but you can see he's down at the line of scrimmage he takes a much better angle because of that he just goes right around the tackle so that's really i'm glad that that mistake happened because you have to make sure that you put those guys in the right spot so we're going to do that one more time we don't have to blitz both either like i said you can just blitz one you can see how this one came off the backside really well and then i can leave all my pass coverage over there go ahead and we'll go with a hard flat like i said one of my biggest things though make sure this this safety is where he belongs and then come right over this center here and we're just going to basically pull this guy whenever we get the uh the ball to snap there we go. Like I said, hold that center. It looks like the defensive tackle, the defensive end came off. Uh, but once again, I mean, you, I sacrificed that flat. He recognized that. So you got to be, you know, you got to be aware of that. Like there, I probably should have been all over that running back. That's on me. Wasn't really paying attention. I'm kind of just watching for the blitz to get home. Um, as I might have, of course, I accidentally put that middle third on somebody who's not supposed to be on. So here we go. One more time. Like I said, I like the hard flat because the pressure typically gets in there pretty good. That's something I think a lot of people like to do. And we're we'll getting another good run D stop, as you can see. I mean, everybody was pretty much on block there. Even I was coming in, um, which wasn't even really planned. So, like I said, I'm just going to bring that guy down. You're going to want to try to bring them both down. I mean, if, if you don't want to look like, you're just, like it's obvious that you're blitzing one. But that's really the play here, is you can blitz either one. And your opponent, if they sh you know, sh shift or slide, as you can see, once again, we get another free rusher there on the run play. But like I said, I mean, you could do this off of both sides. So let's go and let's, this time we're gonna blitz row. So pretty much the exact same setup. Although I really wanna make sure if I'm doing it this way, like I said, you gotta put Baker out there. Hopefully it's not too much of a tell that I moved him all the way out there, but we'll put Baker out there. And like I said, just pull this guy. You see we get the rusher off the other side. The running back gets picked up. You did see that free rusher came in though. Like I said, you can get pressure off of both sides. That's what makes this so hard to diagnose. You can see we got four guys being blocked by five guys. And this guy's coming in free right into the quarterback. So he has to get rid of the ball. And you can see coverage is pretty good too. Everything's pretty much locked up out there. Like I said, full setup. I'm pretty much just slanting outside, guessing pass. And then hovering over this gap which looks like we got a guy right over the middle and we get the sack off the other side. So you can see, we can get sacks off of either side. It's really what's gonna make this a really good scheme. It's one of the reasons that people like to run it is you can really have your choice. You can't ID anybody, you can't shift in any in any particular direction because there's just so many different things that can be done here. Now you could also go with like a Max, um, you know, a lot of people like the Mabel outside. You can do that with Baker here. I could put him into a hard flat Basically, um, well, I don't know. What, I think I hit the wrong one there. I can put him into a hard flat. We can Mabel outside if we want to do that. So while this can be a very good pressure package, you could also, um, you know, try to uh, set up like this where you're essentially, you know, I'm obviously responsible for middle now by myself, but we can basically Mabel everything and just try to get some really good pass defense just like this. So let's go ahead and let's do that one time. Like I said, there's, you know, everything's pretty much Mabel covered nope. here and you can see he just throws it away. So you can do a number of things here. You can do, um, you know, with this with this setup, I mean, it's a, it's a really easy setup. Like I said, I always wanna make sure I have my safety over, 
But you could always hard flat this guy and get that same Mabel setup that a lot of people like to run. Like I said, to me, the best way to do that would be, uh, you know, five yard hard flats, 30 yard curl flats. That's typically what I do. Sometimes zero, sometimes 25, but something in that range. And then you could basically set this up like this all game. You're gonna have really good run defense, really good pass defense all game, and you have the ability to uh, to blitz out of either side, which is gonna be a nightmare for your opponent. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more defenses, as always, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. We should. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.